I actually do recall sort of a moment where it came over me where I was like, my mobility has been stripped away. My quality of life was going down, but I felt like my biggest fear was that those around me, their quality of life, and I wouldn't be able to participate and coach and pass on the passion that I have for so many things to my son. When I first met Patrick, you know, he's a, a very active guy. So he likes to ski, he surfs, he skateboards, he does a lot of really fun, active things, and he's a father, and he has a kid that he plays with often as well. He had significant osteoarthritis to his hip and a lot of pain and a lot of dysfunction to actually both hips, but one hurt a lot more than the other. And he was walking with a pretty significant limp. He wasn't able to do all the things that he enjoyed. Definitely noticed it into my 30s and 40s, obviously, and to the point where it was just basically interrupted my, my lifestyle and the things that I love to do. When I meet patients, they're very anxious, they're commonly very fearful. And what we try to do just by providing appropriate education is convert that fear and anxiety to confidence, right? Is that once we know that they understand the process, they're educated on what the recovery is gonna look like, what the surgery is gonna involve, what technology is gonna add, meaning again, providing sort of more a more exact way to place components so that they're getting exact reconstruction to their hip, they're less anxious and they're much more confident about the recovery. And that is really critical. That conversion from anxiety to confidence is really critical to making sure that the recovery goes well. I had both of my hips replaced. I needed bilateral hip replacement. I had the first one done. It was better than expected, simple, fast recovery. With my second hip, my concern was leg length and making sure that I didn't have antiversion in my, in my second hip and it matched up perfectly with my first hip so that I could get back to full activity. I wasn't exactly sure which uh, system Dr. Shaw was using, but when he said IntelliJoint, uh, I was very glad to hear that that's what he was gonna be using. Post-operatively, I feel amazing. The second hip, I progressed at light speed, having confidence in my first hip, and then I definitely think with the IntelliJoint alignment of my second hip, you know, being spot on with my leg length, I felt natural again. I felt like I could actually stretch appropriately, not like I was having that impinged feeling that I've been experiencing for 20 plus years. We did a surgery as an outpatient, so he had surgery in general. He had a recovery that generally is about 30 or 40 minutes after a hip replacement, he walked. Then generally about 60 to 70 minutes after surgery, he climbed stairs. And usually about 90 minutes to two hours after surgery, he was heading home. The importance of IntelliJoint in a patient like Patrick is we know that, number one, we don't want any of the complications we talked about earlier. We want his leg lengths to be even. We want his position of components to be very exact. Secondly, we want him to be able to return to activities without thinking about his hip down the road. Third reason that I think IntelliJoint was useful for a patient like Patrick, and in Patrick's case specifically, was that longevity is really important. So he's young enough where we want this hip to last as long as possible, and we don't want it to wear out. And we know that putting in and placing components in a position that is appropriate and exact for where we want them to be will lead to greater chances of longevity. I was back to activity in no time. And I picked up hockey. I've been playing hockey for six months with my son because he decided he liked that better than what dad played, which is soccer. There are many more patients that are like Patrick, so it's really fun to take care of these patients, especially now that I use IntelliJoint, because I know that we're putting in hip replacements as exact as possible, and that means that not only is their short-term recovery great, as it's been for a while, but long-term, their longevity is gonna be better. When you're getting to a point where your quality of life is not where you want it to be, that's the time to have the surgery. And then when you are at that point, whether you're 44 or 74, don't be fearful of it. I'm so happy that I chose an elite surgeon like Dr. Shaw to do my hip and that he uses an IntelliJoint system. And I couldn't be happier with the outcome of my hips. I'm back to everything I want to be doing.